What is up guys, Nubix Cuber here, and before I get into this video, I want to apologize for having a lack of videos lately on my channel. I've actually run out of things to make. Um, I know I can always do averages and example solves, but in order for me to do that, I need topics and questions from you guys, unless you guys just want an empty solve. Anyway, in this video, I've got a review of the YJ Shinshu, so let's get into this. So when we first take the Shinshu out of the box, we first see, again, very bright, vibrant shades, much like the shades of a Qilong. The only real difference is the orange. The Shinshu has more of a dull orange, while the Qilong has more of a pinkish orange, which, strangely enough, I actually, I actually prefer the orange on the Qilong over the orange on the Shinshu. Going into the turning of this cube, it's very crunchy and not very smooth at all, and lockups are quite frequent. I do have this cube set at a rather tight tension, mainly because last time I took this thing apart, it actually took me forever to put it back together, so I just decided not to. As you can see, doing a simple T-perm, this cube locks up quite a bit and catches all the time, and that's a big problem for me because if I absolutely had to choose a favorite algorithm, it would definitely be the T-perm. So, again, this cube is a major problem for those people who like the T-perm like me. The corner cutting on this cube is actually not that bad down the middle. It's not as good as the Shang Xiao, or even the Weisu, or the Aosu. i going based off what I hear from other people, me, myself, I don't have one of those. But the corner cutting on the outer layers is not really there. It, it's quite frustrating at times because that's what makes it lock up all the time. It's really quite annoying when I'm trying to do a solve on this. And ever since I got my Shang Shell, I don't hardly ever use this anymore. Um, I do want to thank the Cube Dude for sending me this puzzle along with the MF8 Square One and the YJ Lingan. Um, I have an unboxing video. I will put an annotation for it about there. So, yeah. Altogether, I would rate this cube about a D. It's not as bad as the QJ 4x4, or definitely not as bad as the Rubik's brand 4x4. However, if you already have a Shang Xiao, a Weisu, or an Aosu, I definitely would not recommend this cube. This cube catches and locks up all the time, however, I've never had a pop on it, strangely enough. The only major problem, again, is the terrible lockups and, and catches that I get while solving this cube. Those alone make this cube not very fun to solve at all. And it's mainly due to the poor corner cutting on this cube. So that's all I have to say on the YJ Shinsu. If you guys like this video, feel free to get, give it a like. Also, subscribe if you haven't already done so. I also, right now, have a contest going on on my channel. It's not a giveaway or anything. It's a simple art co uh, contest. Send me pieces of artwork, and you could be featured in this space right here. Um, I will have my address down in the description. Also, a annotation to that video here. Until next time, stay, twist stay twisty. Until that time, stay twisty.